gentlemen, please welcome Ox Venture and Harry McIntyre. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to MCM. And to the Ox Venture, I am Corazon de Baena, the human pirate rogue and popular pirate magazine's sexiest pirate of the year, runner-up, three years running. I'm Egbert, the Dragonborn Paladin, and uh, popular Paladin magazine's least sexy Dragonborn uh, of the year. But I got rear of the year, so it's fine. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Prudence, the tiefling warlock. Uh, chaotic evil, but in a fun way. <laughs> Uh, I am Aubrey. I'm a tabaxi draconic bloodline sorcerer, and I was in a magazine, but it's in my own tongue, and none of you would understand it, even if I could pronounce it. I understand it's very good. Hello, I am Meryl Wen, the wood elf druid. I am sometimes a cat. <laughs> and I am literally everyone else in the world. <laughs> They said it. The thing. We begin this adventure at a bus stop. <laughs> we. <laughs> because one of the Ox Venturers has gone off on what's uh, commonly known in Geth as a foreign exchange adventurers program. <laughs> so Dob has gone to uh, literally party up with uh, some adventures in, in a mysterious and far off land. Um, in exchange for a different adventurer, uh, in, you know, in the hopes that we can uh, sort of uh, increase our understanding of one another's adventuring habits and just generally make, make the world a, a, a more knowledgeable and, and better and welcoming place. So um, the adventurers have, uh, have arrived at a bus stop at the appointed hour. Uh, there is a bus pulling up. It is pulled <laughs> by horses because internal combustion engines don't work, at least here. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, the, the bus sort of screeches to a halt. The door opens and out steps a figure. Uh, what, does this, what does this figure look like? Uh, so um, I am in, I have very pale fur uh, and a, a sort of Mohican because who doesn't want one of those, right? Uh, I have a, a little light crossbow in a haversack uh, with some other stuff in it. And uh, I, I, I extend my paw to everyone. Hey, so I assume uh, you're the person that's buying Dob from us? <laughs> that's, what's, that's what's happening, right? We sold Dob, finally. You sold Dob? Yeah. How much did you get? Well, I, 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 I don't know. I thought someone oh, else right. had sorted out the money. Phase. But yeah, finally, we got rid of him, right, guys? D no, that's not what's happening here. So what's happening here? Dob will come back, we assume, unless he gets killed on that other adventure. Well, then who the hell is this? Oh, m m my name is, uh, is Aubrey. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. I immediately Be, being shake called hands. I, uh, as you, I, I, I just very lightly lick the top of your hand and smile. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> What's with these strange tabaxi fashions? Well, I, I, yeah, this is what we wear around here. We're into, I like um, it. We're into Breton stripes and utilitarian mm. workwear. It, it's modern. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. yeah. So what you're saying is the immersion isn't broken. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, this is all part of it. Yeah. Wonderful, says a voice, <laughs> as an officious-looking person uh, steps off the bus with a, a, a cast-iron clipboard. Um, greetings, everybody. My name is Norman. I am here on behalf of the Foreign Exchange Adventurers Programme, here to make sure that, uh, that our guest gets settled in the land of Geth. Thank you. We have uh, acknowledged receipt of one adventurer named Dob. Um, we will return uh, him to you in uh, some... Uh, well, well, you didn't pay for the insurance, so we'll just give him back as you get him. <laughs> but he will be repatriated, right? Yes, yeah. he, he okay. will, yes. It's a scam. That's um, how they get you. <laughs> so, um, as I have already said, my name is Norman. I will be accompanying you on this quest, although at a remove, I'm just here on a contingency basis in case of an emergency. In fact, it would be better if you take... No notice of me at all. <laughs> the programme has um, pre-generated a quest for you. Uh, I will now outline the quest. 
and then you can begin a wonderful journey of discovery and mutual learning. No, I hate those things. <laughs> I'm afraid that there is no other quest, so this is what you'll be doing. You are going to a wedding. Reception. Hooray! Reception. We couldn't Aww. get you into the main Even event. Even better. Um, <laughs> it's basically an insult. <laughs> you, will, you will be attending the marriage of, uh, well, the reception, excuse me, of the wedding of Alicia Featherby to her new wife, Michaela Fortescue, now Michaela Featherby. It is taking place at the Featherby family home, a remote estate which is one hour's journey south. Uh, it is being hosted by her father, Viscount Michael Featherby. Please hold questions. <laughs> <laughs> and it is likely he is going to be assassinated at the event. You need to prevent this assassination in order to earn the credit for your exchange programme and thereby retrieve your deposit. <laughs> I will now take questions. Yes? Cash or open bar? Well, if you had held this question longer, I would have told you the Featherbees are, of course, a family of famous vintners, and thus it is open bar. Spirits are extra. Yes? Sit-down meal or buffet? Uh, it's, it is, I believe, a sit-down meal. Mm. Would you like to know any of the particulars about why this man is in danger, or can I outline the other stuff you can have for free? Yes? Well, I, I was actually asking if any of them are known to have any feline allergies. Um... Uh, no, that's we have important. done a background check on that. Actually, um, that's a point. In this world, you're considered to be hypoallergenic. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I love d and <laughs> Are we expected to bring a present? Because I don't want to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to be like that, then I suppose not. Perhaps you can spin it that if you save this man's life, that's a good enough gift. Yeah, life is the greatest gift of all, probably. Yeah. That's what people who turn up to weddings without gifts would say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And I say, if not, I have a plan. And I just tap the haversack and then wink individually at everyone. He's so mysterious. Ooh. I wonder what's in the haversack. Yeah. Now I wonder. It's probably gold and riches, right? Maybe. But keep your hands off our guest. But for the moment, at least. <laughs> <laughs> hate this exchange program. You can't even rob them. <laughs> All right, so how are we going to get to the whoa, estate? Whoa, 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 what? come on, ask what? the question, Norman. I already asked the question, the and it's going to be an open question. bar. Norman, why what? are they going to assassinate Viscount Michael? Well, it depends who you consider they to be. Um, Rumour has it that, uh, uh, that Alicia's father disapproves of the match, oh. and uh, thus that uh, the Fortescue family may be planning to have him killed before he can disinherit her, thereby earning them a lot of money. Um, there are also rumours that, um, that Featherby's business partner is unhappy, and uh, also, um, apparently, his staff are quite routinely disgruntled as well. Mm. But uh, that is all I am authorised to tell you for now as my role as emergency mediator. To be fair, that's more information than we usually get before any kind of quest, so thank you. <laughs> well, I pride myself on doing my job well. <laughs> okay. Cool. So how do we fit, wrap this up? High fives? Or? Uh, like I say, it's best if you take no notice. So you just do whatever it is you do, and I shall observe from a safe remove. Okay. 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 Let's all stop paying attention to Norman now. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. We're going to be able to solve a mystery, do some detecting. Can't wait. Eat the buffet. I mean the sit-down meal. Yeah. I really wish it was a buffet. It's a lot easier to hide the amount you're eating at a buffet. It's <laughs> <laughs> a very good point. All right, so how do we get to this? It's an hour away, right? We're not going to walk, are we? Norman? <laughs> okay, Why we're going to walk to the wedding then. Is the, is the bus still here? Yeah, where did the bus go? Yes, it's still here. Let's steal the bus. <laughs> All right, we'll steal the bus. <laughs> you, steal, you steal the bus? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah uh, well, it's unlikely to be on the route. How are you it? planning to steal said bus? There is a driver there in the seat. He has an axe because you never know. Take the axe. <laughs> You're going to take it. Okay. Can you sort of give me it in slightly less abstract terms? <laughs> 
I only operate in the abstract <laughs> world. What if we ask nicely, just this once? Yeah, let's just ask him if he'll give us a lift to the wedding. So you're going to steal the bus nicely? No, yeah. Yeah. ask yeah. nicely okay. if we can please possible. have a lift to Always. the wedding. Uh, maybe a charisma persuasion check. All right. And anyone who wants to get involved Everyone. in this. Oh. Yeah, why not? He's feeling charismatic. You're, yeah, you're trying to make an appealing tableau, I assume? Persuasion. Yeah. Charisma persuasion. A dirty 21. Wow. Uh, dirty 20. Nice. 24. 16. <laughs> Five. <laughs> <laughs> I say we send Merylwen in. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, not Merylwen. The bus driver says, I would love to take you all to the wedding. Please. I'm born to drive. I love to take people to their destinations, but if you could please keep the druid off the seats, that would be great. <laughs> Whoa! There is a lot of cat hair on her, in fairness. Yeah. Right. right. We'll put says, a towel down. Says the driver. We'll put a towel down. Yeah, put a towel right down. Right now, I'd like yeah. to climb into my old spot in the above seat luggage compartment. Oh, just... nice curl up. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we've got a wedding to get to. It'll ruin Step the day if man. we're not there, probably. In fact, almost certainly, if one of, if one of the. Uh, parents is going to get murdered. We should definitely be there. <laughs> Criminy, I'll hit the sports button. <laughs> <laughs> the sports button, unfortunately, appears to be an enormous flail, but he, uh, <laughs> he sort of drives the horses on. Uh, you make the journey in approximately four minutes. Wow. wow that's great. Um, and yeah, you, you pull up to uh, the gates of the family estate, which has like a nice gravel drive, which leads down into one of those lovely swooping sort of circles where the carriages come and drop people off. Ooh. There's already sort of a fair stream of people being dropped off in their, their carriages. Uh, the house stands before you. It is a grand manor with sort of uh, leaden windows with sort of bits of, of uh, coloured glass in there. It is, it is beautiful. Peacocks roam the lawn, occasionally making irritating noises. <laughs> um, <laughs> further off to one side, you can see... Uh, <laughs> you can see the beginnings of a hedge maze, and uh, there is also a sign, uh, sort of like a signpost, that just says, Menagerie this way. Um, but uh, generally, someone bloody loves a menagerie out there, doesn't they? <laughs> um, generally speaking, uh, you've just got, um, yeah, you, you, you're turning up, you're in the queue to get out of the carriages at the front door. Yeah. Where, uh, sort I of want to do the hedge maze. Hmm? I want to do the hedge maze. <laughs> Wants to do the hedge maze. Can I do the hedge maze? We will never Egg see him again. the next no, hour in the hedge maze. Okay. I mean, you can absolutely go do the hedge maze Thanks. now if you want. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can't pass up a hedge maze. No. So that's Egbert out of the campaign for the next yeah. one. <laughs> 45 um, minutes. Yeah, I'm going to just get you to make me uh, wisdom perception rolls until wisdom. I say stop or, or you cry <laughs> uncle. Okay. All right. Uh, first one is a three minus one. Okay, you have yet to, to enter the hedge maze. <laughs> I'll be back with you in a moment. <clears throat> so, um, standing at the, uh, the door of, of this grand manor is a sort of footman um, with a very uh, sort of grandly dressed man uh, with sort of like a big... It looks like a chain of office, but you see it's actually sort of just like an ornate chain of like grapes and, and, and vine leaves and things. He has sort of like a, a big beard, a well lacquered ponytail. He's wearing sort of very um, heavily embroidered clothing. He looks very, very opulent. And he's sort of just standing there, sort of nodding um, graciously as people sort of thank him for the hospitality and file in. Uh, occasionally the... Um, Occasionally, the, the footman will sort of lean in and uh, mutter in his ear if there is somebody of particular note who he will occasionally grace by offering his hand for them to sort of, like, do that weird, like, fingertip tickle <laughs> that posh people do. Pretty in sure, Gesh, yeah. In Gesh, belief, people just nod. Thanks for qualifying. Anyway, sure, sure, sure. There you all are, apart from Egbert, who is currently wrestling with a wall of greenery. <laughs> Okay, um, we need to go into the wedding to solve this pre-murder. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, there are, there are like three possible ways that this murder could be happening, right? The business partner, the guy who was marrying, and also the staff. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So how do, we want to, how do we want to do this? How do we want to divide our efforts? Or do we just want to go in and get the measure of the place first? Is that a better get, idea? I think get the measure of the place. 
I think. Get it. Get on the open bar. Dip our toe in. Yeah. 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 Dip yes. our toe into the open bar. Into the open yeah. bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go and get ourselves introduced then. All right. The we'll march up to the footman and say hello. We're invited. Where's the bar? <laughs> oh. Um, well. Uh, we're invited. We, yes. Uh, you know what? Most people are. Um, yeah, when including they, us. Yes. I would like your. Could you give me your name? Invited. Names, please? Invited isn't a name. Could be a name. Uh, well, uh, it... I have a, I have a signet ring, a fake signet ring of a high-powered duke. Ooh. <laughs> uh, can I see if it's a, a signet ring that maybe he recognises? Yes. And... Let's see. Uh, yeah, go for it. One Where of these it? has got to be the signet ring of a... <laughs> uh, maybe a charisma for performance check to kind of... Okay, like, what would happen, say, if it didn't work? <laughs> well, with the nat 20, I just rolled on a wisdom insight check. <laughs> so with the 8, I rolled on performance. Yes. Right. I, I think, logically, what would happen is um, you would present the ring perhaps with a grand flourish, as if to say, look how important this ring and, by extension, I am. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, regrettably, the, the footman takes out one of those little, little tiny jeweler spyglasses <laughs> and goes like... Yes, that's a, a pretty bit of chipped glass. Um, Thank you. <laughs> but uh, will, will none of you tell me your names? Yeah, OK. I, I will. <laughs> I am Corazon de Bayena. Oh, ah, the exchange programme. You're the exchange programme, the students, the adventuring... <laughs> that's us. Yes, we are. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 All right, yeah. good. I was hoping I that would happen. I should have guessed from your fantastical garb. Yeah, yeah, I also have a glass ring. I don't know if I've shown you that, but... Yeah. <laughs> I did notice that. Very proud of it, that, yeah. That She's is, showing everyone. That is hard to miss. Um, but yes, um, one moment, he mutters into, uh, into the Viscount's ear, and uh, the man who you uh, presume to be a Viscount, Michael Featherby, says, Oh, yes, uh, the, the paupers. I'm, uh, I'm very accustomed to letting in a, a small number of paupers into any occasion I throw to make them feel better about their sordid little lives, and it's good press for me. This is, the, this is the guy we've got to have not get killed. <laughs> What's that? No, 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 You're hungry? <laughs> oh, I bet you are. Don't worry, little boy, you'll be fed. Quite thirsty as well, where's the bar? Oh, sure, yes. Oh, you, you must dip your toe in the open bar. That's why See? it's, why it's <laughs> open. Uh, please, uh, come on in, in enjoy uh, the, the hospitality of my house on this most... Auspicious-ish day. Auspicious-ish. Why only auspicious-ish? Sira, I say. Oh, don't you worry your, your funny little pirate head about it. Go on, run along. The open bar's waiting. I think we should let him get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he starts to receive the next guest in line, kind of leaning over you in that sort of imperious, like, I will just go through your head <laughs> if you don't move sort of way. Um... But before you, there is a delightful reception area. There is a string quartet playing in, in one corner. Oh, Egbert would have loved this. <laughs> it's a shame. How is Egbert? I see he died in that hedge maze. Starved to death. Oh, yeah. Trapped in oh, yeah, Egbert. Um, <laughs> like Jack Nicholson in The Ballad of the Shining. It, how is it going? I don't know. I'll tell you in a moment. Uh, it's going nine minus one. That's how it's going. Okay, you can now see the entrance to the hedge maze. You're like, Brilliant. that's my inn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, between you and me, um, just as pals here at the table, we can keep going for as long as you want, but you can turn back any time you like as well. So... Uh, well, I've got yeah. target acquired, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, you, you, you journey into the hedge maze. Yeah. Please make me another check okay. to see how immediately you get lost. Oh. oh my. It's a two minus one. <laughs> Harry, it is always like this. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. I mean, technically, if you were rolling to see how immediately you get lost, you fail. You yeah, failed Whoa, immediately hey there. getting lost. Hey now. Hey now. Oh my god. Rules lawyering. <laughs> no. But is immediately Me getting lost better than. Taking ages to get lost. <laughs> okay, the, you take absolutely ages, ages to get lost, <laughs> but you do get very lost. Um, here's what happens: you clip into the wall, 
<laughs> you're not sure how you've done it, but you are now inside the architecture of the hedge maze. Um, you never noticed that, uh, that, that Geth has a skybox before, or that beneath you is just a, an endless void. black void. Wow. Uh, it is... Break the game. <laughs> this is the coolest hedge maze you've ever seen. Oh, God. Back inside the party, wow. there are... Um... We don't know the assassin isn't at the centre of the hedge maze. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Could be inside a hedge. <laughs> it's possible. Okay. Um, inside, so anyway, in, inside you just, you know, you've, you, you've all seen a fantasy wedding reception. String quartet. Uh, lovely fountain that's sort of like, you know... Ice sculpture. It's babbling like a brook. Ice sculpture, exactly. It's a, it's a luge. Mm. And it's like a luge. Photo booth with props on sticks. That's exactly right. Yes. Um, although it, it, it's a portrait man. Yes. yes. So it does take quite some time. <laughs> He's also quite three a, people a night. They're working He's... in oils. There's a 36-hour dry time. <laughs> <laughs> and he will yell if you blink. Um, and uh, there are staff sort of circulating with, with trays of, of canapes, of, of all sorts of different delights. Um, some of them are arranged into the shape of, of animals. It's all whimsy in here. Um, and uh, yeah, you, I, I would say the, the scoping of the joint begins now, for most of you. Okay, can we, can we see the, um, the couple? Hmm? The brides? Yes. Oh yes, of course. The, um, the newlyweds, where are they? They sat at a table at the, I don't know, the head of the reception. Yeah, they they are. Yes, they, yeah. I'm not going to make you roll for this. They okay. are. You can see them mingling. Okay. In the background, they are they are wearing beautiful matching um, long gowns of sort of white silk with like green um, embellishments. I think I described a dress. Um, <laughs> they are laughing together. And their, their laugh is like uh, like ringing crystal. Euphemistically, it's not Bloody like a, a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, They are enjoying a, a glass of sparkling wine together and just generally they look like they're having the best day of their lives. Yeah. Marilyn, it's so beautiful. It's so <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty. I'd like to look around and see if I can see anyone like brandishing a knife and cackling. Sure. <laughs> Make me an in... Uh, would this be intelligence investigation? Why not? Let's spice things up a little. Uh, that's a four. But, wait... Uh, plus three, plus four, so eleven. You don't see anyone brandishing a knife. Mm. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Can, can I see the other father of the bride? Someone who looks like they might be a father of a bride, given that we've met one. Yes. Um, yeah, maybe a, maybe a wisdom perception check right. for this one, because okay. this is more about working out who is who. I, I imagine he'd be wearing, you know, like um, sort of like a flowery favour or something that matches the wedding party, you know? Something Some like. good thinking. But I did only roll a nine, Ooh, so... It's gonna be that kind of session. Okay. <laughs> you, <laughs> regrettably, there are quite a few men uh, uh, standing around wearing... Course, are they corsages? Corsages. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing on the wrist. Buttonhole. Yeah, corsage. Corsage is a thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, yeah, a thing. Yeah, yeah. We're learning so much from this exchange programme yeah. already. <laughs> we uh, love them. Uh, um, yes, suspect, you, suspect, suspect. Yes, suspect. there are there are a number of <laughs> they are there are a number of men. Clearly, all of them sort of related. So you're like, I have narrowed it down to those people, but there are like four of them ah, okay. of different differing ages. But you can't say with certainty which one is the father of the bride who isn't in mortal danger. Got it. Not, you know what I mean. I got you. I got you. Okay. okay. Well. Aubrey, any ideas? Um, well, in, in my culture, we, we bring semi-dead animals to people that we care about, and, and maybe that would be a way to open. I don't know if anyone's seen a frog. Or... Sounds chill, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a good way in. Yeah. All right, you do that. Great. And I will watch that happen. Okay. <laughs> I, I would like to see if I can uh, see a small rodent... Uh, uh, you know, a rat, a mouse. Maybe I saw there a gecko on the way in. There were some peacocks out front, I mean... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah, a menagerie you, outside, right? You know what, oh. why not? Yeah, yeah, I'll go and see if I can find a little, um, a tribute, a tribute to give. Okay, you're going to nip out to the menagerie? Yeah. Is that the plan? Yeah, fine. No, absolutely fine. Um, yes. All right, Aubrey, you, um, you, uh, exit the, um, you, st well, you start to exit, exit the party, one of the, uh, the dormices. Um, stamp you for re-entry, sir? Uh, yes, and uh, as they hold their hand up with a stamp, I lick their hand. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. 
Yes, all right, that'll do. Um, yes, that'll get you back in. We don't have to do this again. <laughs> it's just a one-time thing. Well done, thank you, sir. Um, you are, yeah, you are. Uh, you emerge outside where the, the hedge maze seems to be vibrating <laughs> softly. Uh, yeah. Another one, please. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there, there is a path off to your left which leads off to a menagerie. You can already see some sort of nice cages um, and things um, there. Um, I say, oh, a, a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Ten minus one. Ten minus one. Um, you're spat out of the maze a bit further. You're like a few turns in. I'm going to say you're like a fifth of the way through this maze now. Right. Um, Pretty good progress. Yeah, you're doing great, buddy. <laughs> Imagine if the killer is just at the centre of the maze, holding a knife and cackling. Um, It'd be so sweet. Aubrey, as you start to approach this menagerie, you start to wonder if maybe you aren't seriously contemplating biting off more than you can chew. Mm. Um, in the cages, um, uh, a number of them are, uh, are holding beasts uh, that from your Welcome to Geth sort of adventurer's guide. Yes. Uh, you've had identified as hellhounds. Okay. And there are a trio of cockatrices just sort of milling around in a giant aviary. Okay. That's the bad mm. news. The good news is it appears to be feeding time. Well, terrific. Uh, what are they being fed with? Um, well, there's all sorts, really. There's sort of just a man... The guy's not even really looking. There's a man with a large bucket and an enormous pair of tongs just sort of flinging, like, snake... Small yappy dog, uh, <laughs> water rat. Water rat. Water rat? I'd like, yes, I'd like to see if I can grab a water rat. I mean, I'd be thrilled if someone presented me a water rat on the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> yeah, fair. Okay, so are we talking like you're going to grab this out of midair? Or? Uh, I think I would like to... Hello. Here we are. I think that's Whoa. a sign this is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Divine <laughs> approval. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, would I would like to um, approach the, the feeder uh -huh. and, and uh, engage them in conversation, have a nice little chat. You know, maybe, how long have you, you know, I'm, forgive me, I, I, you know, I don't know this land your customs. Uh, is this your only job? You know, is this all you do? Do you also, I don't know, run a, uh, you know, like a pharmaceutical company or, or candles or anything like that? And then just, just <laughs> that gesture yeah. I did exactly <laughs> yeah, there yeah, yeah, yeah. into a bucket of water rats. All right, we're going to, yeah, we'll make this a deck slight of hand check, okay. I think. Well, he's like going, what do you mean? This is my only job. I find it perfectly fulfilling. 21. Yeah. <laughs> um, Move. The water rat practically jumps into your hands. <laughs> and it's kind of just like oh, it's nuzzling up against your wrist. It's alive. Mm. Oh, well, you God. did say half dead, I right? did. It's a moral conundrum, isn't it? Well, you're going to have to meet it halfway, I'm afraid. Okay. <laughs> so you, have, you now have a, a, a live water rat in okay. your, in your okay. hand. I can't... Can I do this? Can I bring myself to, 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 to murder a water rat in cold blood? Can I march out there and stamp on it? I'd Just love it if someone could take the hit on this one, yeah. Yeah, I march out there and stamp on the rat and say, come on, <laughs> <laughs> haven't got all day, there's murders to be solving. And I pick up the water flat and hey! don't mind if I do. I see you've grasped what Oxventure is all about. <laughs> Of course, Corazon has uh, recently been discovered to have EIP, or extra insensitivity perception. <laughs> uh, so yes, you, you, you're outside now with a water flat. Um, Egbert. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> 15 minus one. Hey. Ooh. Yeah, you're, you're, like, you're pretty certain you're getting to the center of this maze. Sweet. Just burn a hole through all the hedges and walk straight <laughs> to the middle. It's actually, yeah, that's a profoundly good option. Um, okay, so you you're returning to the uh, to the reception? Yeah, yeah, and I'd like to pick the most stately looking of the four men, <laughs> according to m my standards. Um, and I'd like to approach and say, um, on the day of your daughter's wedding, I bring to you a gift, a symbol of my esteem for you and the love my land has for yours <laughs> and I'd like to hand him a squashed water rat. <laughs> okay. So is this, <laughs> this is the father of the bride inside rather than outside? Or oh, yeah, the the out, oh yeah, the inside the, one. The inside the outside one, okay. <laughs> um, he takes the, uh, the half-dead water rat from me and goes, oh, it's maimed. 
You're welcome. <laughs> well, how perfectly delightful. This is quaint, isn't it? Um, oh, but, oh, my, oh, my daughter would love this. Mm, I stamped um, on it personally. Oh, well, that's just marvellous. Perhaps I'll show Michaela later, but uh, I feel indebted to you. Just put it on the pile with the other presents. Maybe right on top. Oh, well, no. I mean, I, this is such a well-thought-out <laughs> and personal gift that I couldn't possibly just put it on display with all the others. Would be crass. Yes. No, this is going to have to stay very safely kept with me, I think. Otherwise, um, everyone will want one. I, I nod. Um, this guy is on my wavelength, and it's a thrill. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. This is a lot oh, like having Dob here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, he turns this exchange to, program. It's good. He turns to one of his sons. It's barely audible, but you you think you just catch him go. I knew you should have been a bloody vet. Um, <laughs> and he looks crestfallen. Okay. There we have. We have three suspects that we need, to, we need to eliminate from our inquiries, I say, pacing around like a cool detective. <laughs> At got, a wedding? Yeah. <laughs> this is a lot of slalom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pacing, th I'm pacing through the people. Uh, okay, so we've got the staff. Could be the staff. We've got the business partner. Could be him. And we've got the other dad as who, well. Who we found now. Who we've identified. We have... And he seems nice. He seems... He, seems he doesn't pretty, seem like, a, like an assassin. Like a chill guy. Yeah, but yeah. that's how you would seem if you were a murderer. You wouldn't be cackling and holding a knife. Who would think that? Only a fool who isn't a good detective, it's a, it's and a good I am point. a good detective. So we should split up and <laughs> we should each take a, a suspect. And Can we give the father of the bride a good long investigative look? We, I mean, unless, unless he is holding a knife and cackling, which, as I said, <laughs> is a stupid baby idea that I never had. All right, fine. Low-hanging fruit is still worth picking yeah. sometimes. Well, what I'd like, I would like to look around for a member of staff about my size and build wearing a staff uniform. Yes, this will be fine. Um, <laughs> you can... Uh, I was about to say, yes, you're pretty average, to mean that there should, it should be quite easy to identify one. How dare and you. And then I realised what I was going to say, and then I said it anyway. Yeah, uh, I look yes, around you... for a live, snake-hipped, muscular staff member <laughs> with long dancer's legs. Exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, you, you locate such, such a staff member who, to be honest with you, um, is, is, is not really doing the job very diligently. He's kind of just sort of sweeping past people. You see people trying to take a canopy. He's not even really watching to see if anyone's interested or taking or, or what have you. Okay, I walk up to them and I say, um, uh, you're needed in the uh, isolating corridor, the one where no one is... You, need, you, you needed to isolate yourself in the isolating <laughs> corridor. Well, the, boss said, the boss just said, said, can you tell him to go and isolate himself in the isolating corridor? Well, I think the boss should go isolate himself in yeah, the isolating right, yeah. corridor. <laughs> Bloody hell, I know. But, you know, we have to do it, don't we? Who are you, sorry? I'm uh, from head office. I mean, uh, the, uh, the boss sent me. I've never seen you before. The agency. We're not agency employees. The, the, the non-agency sent me. But I work for the non-agency. Yeah, yeah, so do I. That's why they sent me. <laughs> <laughs> Make me a charisma persuasion check. Good lord. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Well, I rolled a nine. Yeah! <laughs> Well, I rolled a 10 with a minus okay. one wisdom in, uh, modifier. It's hard, it, it is turns out. It's difficult, isn't it? He um, <laughs> goes, oh, all right, well, uh, hang on a sec. I've just got to get rid of the rest of these canopies. He dumps them into a nearby house plant. Nice. Goes, uh, all right, which way is the isolating corridor again? It's just, uh, just over there. Oh, God. He sort of saunters into the isolating corridor listlessly. Cool. I would like to follow him in and choke him unconscious. <laughs> Wonders never cease. <laughs> strength athletics, please. All right, here we go. Get ready for the best damn strength. That oh my oh. God, that's a natural one. Oh. <laughs> All the good rolls today. <laughs> it's a one, folks. Um, he, yeah, sure. As you walk into the room, you you can already feel the the perfect rear naked choke like locked in on this guy. You can see, you can just see like the delicious vein pulsing here that you're going to briefly close off 
thereby cutting blood supply to his brain and knocking him unconscious. Um, just, as, just as you go in to, to seal the deal and cinch it, he bends to tie his shoe, and you go toppling straight over him, um, like that really old video of a cat jumping into a baby gate and yes. just going like crash and flipping, <laughs> and bam, bam! You land on your back uh, with this man looking straight over you, uh, only upside down. He goes, what are you doing? Uh, I just wanted to make sure you'd made it to the isolating corridor. <laughs> Seems you have. Yeah, Good I'm job. here. What? Good job. Um, so next thing the non-agency said was, uh, uh, give me all your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, but I'm starting to think you're not really with the agency. I um, clamber to my feet and I say, no, they did send me, and what they told me to say was chop! And I do a chop on his neck. <laughs> Big chop. Okay. <laughs> That's another strength athletics, please. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's always good when it's a... Yeah. <laughs> it's an 11. <laughs> That's not going to hit his armour class. He's in a nice uniform. Are you kidding? You, you basically, you give him a friendly, like, whap! <laughs> on the shoulder and he goes, no, really, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I say, well, everything seems to be in order. Have a nice day. And I walk no, back to no, the reception. No, 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 come on. <laughs> no, 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 not so fast. Look, I don't really give a fig for this job. This isn't my job, ordinarily. But you've come in here. You've done a weird kind of sensual flip-flop over me. <laughs> and now you've given me a, a pretty piss poor encouraging pat on the shoulder and now you're off well yeah I thought that was as you say an encouraging pat on the shoulder what I'm trying no, to it... say to you friend is that you could do better than this job I know I think that you I should... have a better job good for I think this you should... man I think you should go and pursue your dreams and leave your clothes here it's... as a symbol <laughs> of how you've moved on but this is the uniform I also wear when I'm doing my real job <laughs> yeah listen that's... I work for the Viscount I'm one of his head, head stop it. I'm one of his head sommeliers. And like every other poor sod going about this place with a tray, I've been forced to do this on my day off for no money because he's too cheap to get agency people in. That's how I knew it was a lie when you said agency. So I just, frankly, I don't, I don't give a stuff who you are or what you want to do. What are you doing anyway? Well, I was, what I was trying to do, friend, right. was disguise myself as staff so yeah. I could find out if you wanted to kill the Viscount. Well, no, we don't want to kill the Viscount. He pays our wages. Maim the Viscount, maybe. But I so, don't know. We'll see how the night goes. <laughs> but none, none, of you want, none of you want the Viscount dead. You've not heard any whisperings about it. No strange person who just demanded my clothes twice. <laughs> I do not have any assassination plots to disclose to you at this time. Go on, the last one really hurt. All right, fine. I go back to the others and I say, well, I was able to disguise myself as a staff member. <laughs> <laughs> what did you find out? I infiltrated the staff. I became one of them. I earned their trust. And I can tell you categorically, they do not wish to murder the Viscounts. The Viscount pays their wages. Great. They would be out of a job. All right, scratch one suspect. Yeah, one it was some pretty suspects. good infiltration, pretty good disguise work. That's incredible. I believe him. Yeah, that's incredible. Well, you know, it's all in today's work for the world's greatest detective, me, anyway. Let's not talk about it again anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. Hey, but oh. Yes. You yeah. make me a roll. Uh, eight minus one, seven. Okay. <laughs> Disaster has struck. Oh no! You are really in the heart of this dinner. Uh, this dinner maze, damn it! <laughs> this hedge maze. But I'm thinking about dinner. You are because horror of horrors. You are profoundly lost, and you can hear the dinner bell <gasps> as the guests are being called to the wedding breakfast. I run directly through all of the hedge maze in the direction of the food. <laughs> yes, I suppose I should have seen that coming. <laughs> Do I need to roll for it? Uh, yeah, it will be a saving throw of some type, won't it? Um, That's, uh, what is it, strength athletics? <laughs> Are you bargaining with me? Yeah, please, allow me to roll, and if you wouldn't mind, let me roll one. I've I rolled like it already, it. I just want to know what I'm adding to it. Well, you're, it's a constitution saving throw. Oh, is it? Right. So okay, add well. your con mod. Uh, and that is... Where is my constitution? Oh, yeah, plus two, 21. <laughs> Do 
Do I leap spectacularly over the hedge maze? No. Dinner? Oh no, you leave a um, you leave a fascinating series of perfect silhouettes yeah. in different <laughs> frames, like Muscle March. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you sort of ran through them fast enough, it would look like the whole hedge was animated. Brilliant. <laughs> and you, there's not a scratch on you. Of course there is. As you uh, as you sprint back into the house. Yeah. I suppose for dinner. Yes, for yes for dinner. They've saved me a place, haven't they? They have. They didn't think I wasn't coming, did they? No. Okay, good. Oh. <laughs> no, you do like a weird risky business style slide, which given you're a dragonborn, I assume scratches up the floor something awful. Yeah. But yeah, you arrive in the banqueting hall. Uh, the rest of you have heard this bell and have, you've sort of been invited to, um, to, uh, to, to file in. The father of the bride, um, the one who isn't in mortal danger, kind of goes, um... Thank you again for this gift. Uh, perhaps we shall catch up again after or over dinner. Who knows? I mean, that would be wonderful. Okay. Well, let's see what happens to this little fella. Don't eat him all at once. <laughs> <laughs> I shan't. <laughs> um, you all file into a lovely long banqueting hall, very, very long, uh, with uh, candlesticks and food. <laughs> <laughs> There's already sort of like uh, charcuterie boards and stuff uh, there. There are people very diligently pouring out wine. Uh, you do your best not to notice uh, Norman standing in the corner with his clipboards, kind of <laughs> gave pet. Probably writing down how well I infiltrated the staff. <laughs> I said he probably writing down how well I infiltrated the staff. It's probably. impressive. Yes. Uh, but he's there and you, you were all uh, shown to your places. You're all sort of sat... Um, roughly near to one another you can kind of the most you'd have to do is sort of a big lean to be like um but you all of you have um have guests uh near to you you're actually quite close to the viscount prudence um dob you suspect you're sort of on the kids dob? end of the table <laughs> not dob sorry egbert it's all right you suspect you're sort <laughs> of on the, confused. the kids end of kids end of the table yeah um, where there are sort of younger people including um uh, two of the youngest uh, people wearing the, the corsages from um, from uh, the Fortescue family. Um, who else we got? Just general, just general people hobbing and nobbing. Um, so the the father who I'm great friends with mm. by now mm. does he seem to have a a sort of Batman or a, not that kind like a like a yeah a poor choice of words does he seem to have like an an, an an aide with him someone who I can get the impression he would divulge great secrets to were any within his heart oh absolutely yes. and, and is that guy currently in the room yes is he okay. in the isolating corridor no <laughs> could he be <laughs> no. Okay. There is a man quite diligently feeding bisque to this um, to to the the father with whom you have struck up an acquaintance, um, who seems not to need um, feeding, but just seems to prefer not to have to. Okay. He's kind of making very effusive conversation and drinking liberally from his thing, and occasionally goes, "What? Oh." <laughs> and we'll have a spoonful of bisque. Am I am I anywhere near the so? Who am I near out of the yes. rest of the party? Um, I'm going to say you are, so sort of this father is sort of like, the aide is one across and one over from you. Okay. Um, Meryl Wen is directly opposite you, so she is next to this aide. Okay. And we'll figure out the rest as and when people ask questions. Okay. I would like to say to Meryl Wen, can we get the aide out of the room? If we can get the aide out of the room, I have a plan. So refreshing to have someone with a, right. a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the game. <laughs> so I'm familiar with this he's term. He's holding the bisque, right? He's holding a bowl of he's, bisque. He's got a spoon and he's sort yeah. of... Yeah. I'd like to do a very loud, dramatic, you know, theatric sneeze and accidentally, like, elbow the bisque onto his trousers, like, onto his outfit, his lovely wedding outfit, and be like, oh, no, I'm so sorry, and usher him elsewhere to try and... Uh, Help be like, oh, I must help you clean off. All right. Chop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could just see Carl's being like. <laughs> I think I would actually like this to be charisma performance. Ooh. Because it's not that uh -oh. you're. Oh, I've just seen your. 
just seen the oh, stats. Boy. As well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you're making a scene rather than, you know. It's not to do True. with the strength of the. This, the bisque the is more of a supporting role. That's a 19. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, it is good. It is better than good. It is absolutely perfect. You get a percentage of bisque coverage that you, <laughs> not e like you, you never even dreamed of. Not even Dob gets this much soup on himself. When he's <laughs> Third so degree proud bisque. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and the the egg goes. Oh well. Oh goodness. Um, oh gosh. Uh, I, I, oh. I'm so sorry. I, I'll, I'll help. if you come, come with me. I'll help you clean off. I, I've, I've got some good. Uh, Oh, I don't... I, I know prestidigitation. Oh, wonderful. Oh, but... Oh, gosh. But if my employer... What if he... What if he uses his initiative? If he picks <laughs> up a spoon and realises he... He can use one, then I'm done for. It's, it's fine. It's fine. My friend will take care of it. I've taken care of him, man and boy. That's all right. That's all right. Don't let him use the spoon. I've told him he's allergic <laughs> to knives. Okay, don't let him use the knives. It won't help anything else. He doesn't know what a salt shaker is, but that's because I, I want him to be healthy. All right, don't let him get the salt. Okay. Uh, okay. You're going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yes. No uh, yes, please, uh, clean me yes, up, yes, Magic yes. Wizard. Okay, let, we have to go and do it over here in the, the, cor the isolated corridor. <laughs> Well, that sounds perfectly above board. <laughs> I would like to to follow them, and as soon as they are, as soon as we're all clear of the door, I'd like to cast Alter Self and take on the appearance of the aid. Hello. Fancy. It's good. When it's good, it's good. Yes, absolutely. Um, you get back to the table just in time. No. You see him kind of. He's holding the spoon by the bowl like this, and kind of. Yeah, yeah. I, I cup my hands beneath the spoon and then reach for the spoon and, and, and sort of train it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Ha. Do you make an aeroplane noise at I the do. same time? <laughs> you know, that's given me the idea for the most fantastic invention. <laughs> um, well, there, there you are, Henry. I say, uh, so I'm, I'm feeding him bisque, uh -huh. and, and uh, in between uh, an in, a particularly indiscreet spoonful, maybe the fourth and fifth, I, I, I would like to lean in and say, the preparations are all complete, Lord. We are ready to perform the act on uh, the Viscount when you give the word. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's a real actor. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh! Um, well, splendid. Um, <laughs> a little more bisque, I think. Um, bisque. <laughs> thank you. Um, Yes, the act. What were we? What? What exactly did we have in mind again? Well, I perhaps it slipped your mind, sir. Did you not mention the need to uh, remove the viscount, shall we say, from the picture? Well, well, we've done the pictures. The, <laughs> the initials have been done, and as I believe it, they're laying down the base oils now. Um, I, I, um, I mouth to to Prudence and Carson. I think. I I think it's him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm now like this for eight hours and I can't this <laughs> We're not planning on killing anybody again, are we? N not without your say-so, my oh, lord. Oh, no, no, I, I quite like Fortescue. He's, um, he's fine. He's a reasonable man. Yeah, I mean, you know, he did kick up a stink about the whole wedding, but if Michaela doesn't want to laugh at his jokes, she doesn't have to. Okay. Uh, it dawns on me that I now have to spend the next seven hours and 58 minutes serving bisque. To this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. come on, I need to use the seat. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> okay, yeah. by an almost flawless process Don't. of deduction. That Aubrey is having one amazing adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Not the staff. 
Yeah. Not the father of the other bride. So you think it's the business partner? The business partner who we have yet <laughs> to meet, but I imagine is sat at this table. I knew it all along. Uh-oh. There is a, a clanging um, a, akin to a, a metal coin on a, on a delightful, delightful water bottle. <laughs> um, as, uh, as Viscount uh, Featherby stands with a, a goblet um, before him and says, Ah, well, thank you all uh, for coming here to this lovely, auspicious day of uh, my daughter's wedding uh, to my daughter-in-law, uh, to whom she is wed. I didn't practice a speech, <laughs> but I just want to say how nice it is uh, that you are all here. Uh, wisdom perception for anyone who is, uh, is so inclined. Heck yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I'm still cleaning off the guy in the corridor. I'm like, mm. it, I'll, I'll, it'll work any yes. second now, but I'm Ooh, having a little look. gets uh, stuck in there, doesn't it? That's a nat one. <laughs> yeah. It's a 20. That's a nat 20. All right. Nat 20. Uh, 22. But not, dirty. yeah, dirty like, twenty-two. Okay. I'm I'm busy talking to the other kids uh, about how great the hedge maze is. <laughs> so glad you could join us for this. Yeah. I was like in and out in thirty seconds. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> you got to try. Sure, I mean, this is actually really good. easy. Speeches are pretty boring. We could go now and do it again. Um, okay. Fine. You notice dastardly things happening in the room. Prudence and Corazon, your eyes lock over the table in a moment of oh no. As you notice that, um, well, this, this being the wedding of, of a vintner, the, the, the wine has been excellent. Um, you started off with a, you know, a nice, uh, clear, uh, fruity wine. wine. Yep. And then you <laughs> moved on to a sort of fuller bodied wine. wine. Yep. Um, <laughs> My fave. And now, um, and now uh, yeah, Vic Viscount Michael Featherby seems to enjoy uh, some sort of vintage that is making his, uh, his silvered goblet. Um, to sort of let out the, this slightest... Oh, my. Uh, slightest I use Mage of, Hand to smack the glass smoke. out of his hand. All right. Well, unfortunately, you notice more dust things hand. in I've the always room. had Mage Hand. <laughs> I never didn't, use Mage Hand. That's Mage want, Hand is my thing. I didn't want to embarrass you. I also you. use Mage Hand. <laughs> <laughs> Can I also use Mage Hand? <laughs> well, are you going to do a three-way high five or something? Like, what is this about? What's a goddamn Mage Hand jamboree <laughs> up in here? <laughs> Aubrey, you have cracked the case. You are certain that the moment of assassination has come and that it has come at the hand of some sort of vile necromancer <laughs> because on the table there is an absolutely enormous roast swan. For effect, they have left on its beak and by extension head um, and its feet, but now you realize this was a ploy to give it maximum maneuverability and deadliness because any second now it's going to come to life, spring across that table <laughs> and peck a man <laughs> to death. What do you do, Aubrey? Uh, I, I, uh, oh my stars, I cast Firebolt on the... <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello. It's like Dob's still here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's... Uh... Let's see. Is this this is a targeted rather than yeah, an AOE, right? Yeah, this is a targeted. Right? Yeah, yeah, can't you? I mean, to to be frank with you, it would be in keeping if you did want to do an AOE <laughs> fire spell. But um, um, okay, so you're yeah, just making a brain spell attack, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's it's just a thirteen. I would say that beats the armor class on the dead swan. <laughs> okay, <sure. laughs> so yeah, um, what does it look like? Um, this one. It basically explodes, but <laughs> what, how, describe yeah. it to us, what uh, do we well, see? I, I think, um, I think I reach, reach a paw out, the, the, and, the, and with the other paw, cover the, cover the eyes of my um, new charge, uh, <laughs> and as, as it explodes, I, I turn to him and I say, you don't have to be afraid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, well, <laughs> splendid. Um, <laughs> um, yes, uh, good. Can I smell swan? <laughs> um, meanwhile, um, mage hand people, uh, you're both trying to mage hand. Swap the glass, swap the, the goblet, thing. out of the father, the other father. Okay. Yeah, going for it. You're both hand. properly going for it. Yes. And, and it, 
are you competing here? Yeah, it's a slap fight. Yes. Okay, <laughs> all right. All right. Um, Who sat closer? Are we equidistant from the assassination? Yeah, victim? it's a pretty fair fight. <laughs> all right. So, um, Roll for it. You, the good news is you do successfully slap the goblet out of his hand and it flies against the wall onto a very um, impressive and slightly self-indulgent uh, oil painting of the man himself, which immediately starts to sort of fizz and bubble. Nobody in the room seems to notice this because um, the Viscount also seems to be under an attack from at least one invisible assailant. <laughs> as he's kind of just giving it one of these. Just getting slapped around a bit as, as you two um, compete to, to yes. whack the goblet out of his hand. This Collateral goes damage. on for... It happens. This goes on for a good 45 seconds. <laughs> the whole room's going, oh, oh, good goodness, heaven, oh. They're pointing at bits of swan, they're pointing at uh, the Viscount, who's having some sort, just, just under assault somehow, they go, oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. All right, and then I go, what a wonderful speech. The father of the bride, everyone, thank you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 That's a charisma persuasion check, I think. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, starting a round of applause is a charisma persuasion check. Mm. That's what it is. It's a 22, though. All right, oh. it works. Great speech. Great speech. Great speech. You, can, you can hear them. We've got sound effects. Yeah. Take that, Matt Mercer. <laughs> <laughs> um, they applaud, and uh, the Viscount, once he stops getting magically beaten around the face <laughs> and neck, kind of goes, oh, uh, <laughs> wonderful speech, so, wonderful. Well, they do, do say uh, brevity is, is key. Uh, so, yes, great. Um, uh, I, in, in closing, I'd just like to wish them um, every happiness. I look forward to sharing many laughs with both of them in the future. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, may their love uh, grow just as my investments, uh, which I have newly made, surely will. So um, if anyone wants to come and talk to me uh, about my cryptic currency portfolio <laughs> afterwards, I shall be very glad to tell you all about it. It's fascinating. <laughs> Thank you very much. He sits back down uh, and uh, sort of goes to reach for a leg of bird and... Uh, oh, notices there is no longer a swan at the table. <laughs> the other guests are quite unnerved, I should say. You do notice one of them stand and, uh, and, and march out quite haughtily. Um, uh, excuse uh, me, I uh, say, uh, and get up from the table. I've got to go to the little warlock's room, and then yeah, I... Excuse <laughs> also me, I say. A, a number of people are sort of bick, uh, bicking? picking bits of, um, of like, <laughs> avian detritus out of their <laughs> hair and outfits. So it's, it's not unthinkable that, that you, you could excuse yourself at this point. Um, Egbert, the wishbone has landed right in front of you on the table, but there is also a very large quantity of swan attached to it. Well, I'm going to eat the swan first. Okay. <laughs> yes. Wait, <laughs> waste not, one not. I suppose that's fair. But then I'll make a wish. Okay. Are you wishing oh, with anybody? Uh, yeah, well, one of the children next to me. Here, mister! <laughs> <laughs> Get off that bone! Well, you'll have to pull it and we'll see who gets their wish. Roll me a d20. Okay. 19. Six. <laughs> what do you wish for? Uh, hmm. I wish for the... I would like to wish for the uh, killer to embarrassingly reveal themselves. I figure it's worth a shot. I'm not really helping with this investigation otherwise. <laughs> so, I'm going give it a whirl. Now I feel bad that wishbones canonically don't work in guess. Oh, no! <laughs> Well, it was worth a punt. It's just nice to know what you're thinking about. Yeah. yeah. I go back to finishing my juice box. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fifth. One of the older children has already told you to slow down. <laughs> uh, right, so, yes. Uh, the room is sort of calming down. Um, uh, you can see uh, the string quartet is... is uh, laboriously kind of dragging its instruments into the room now, looking slightly disgruntled that they've had to move the entire lot with them. Well, the violin looks okay. Um, and they start setting up in the corner. Um, things are sort of returning to normal-ish, um, apart from the fact that most people are now covered in swan grease, and uh, <laughs> one of them has, has marched out into the isolation corridor, well, toward the isolation corridor, where you are still dabbing bisque from a very old man. Yeah, um, I've, I've tried to use control water to try and, like, pull it out, 
but all that's done is pull the moisture out and leave a really bad stain yeah. now. So. Oh no! You've and I'm just, I've just made it worse. You've reduced it. You've made a fist <laughs> yeah. reduction. Yeah. I made a very no. concentrated fist. <laughs> I'm covered in jew. Oh, this will never come out now. I'm so sorry. But made a fist. <laughs> also, do you have any water? I'm feeling a bit. Lightheaded. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I create a fog cloud. <laughs> oh, that's much better, he says. I'm sorry, it's an off day. I just get excited at weddings. <laughs> that's all right. Voice in the fog. <laughs> hmm. Um. Yeah, what do? I sidle um, out of the room after the yeah. suspicious. Me too. Yeah. I get my, chop, my chopping hand him. ready. No! We I just follow him just said I get it ready. Okay. I'm not going to do it yet. Follow him at a stealthy distance. He heads toward the open bar, which is, of course, just a giant pool in the middle of the room. Ah, um, okay. He just sort of dips in a, a, a large goblet of wine and just lights a cigar and stands there going like... Should we <laughs> eavesdrop on him and see if he reveals his plans? Yeah, I cast clairvoyance, so yeah. we don't have to approach him. Uh, I, I, nice. I create a magical sensor within earshot. All right. And I'm going to sneak up and approach him. Yeah, Corazon does that. All right, you make me a stealth <laughs> check, please. Uh, yes, Claire... Uh, it's supposed to be Claire Audience, because you're listening, or...? Yes. Yeah. He's uh, sort of there just kind of going, Mur, confounded cryptic currency, going to run our business into the ground. Doesn't even ask good riddles. What good is paying for things with a currency if it just... Doesn't want you to until it's sold a mystery. It's such a laboured idea. <laughs> I mean, you can barely even talk about it for more than 20 seconds before the idea falls apart, but no. Oh no, Featherby wants to sink half our assets into it. Rubbish. <laughs> did Corazon hear that as well? Uh, how did your check go? I don't think we need to worry about all of that. <laughs> no, no. Don't want to give me inspiration for anything I did previously? <laughs> oh, no? All right, it was no. a natural one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so obviously one of, your, one of the coolest tricks in your rogues gallery of uh, The cat, cat in the bin thing, yeah. Well, no, I was going to say that you've sort of been perfecting a, a silent skit oh, yeah, that, that lands you yeah. in a dead stop behind <laughs> them, uh, which works brilliantly across all sorts of floors. Uh, marble... Uh, difficult terrain. Um, unfortunately, this is a highly polished floor that is covered in no small quantity of swan, swan grease. Uh, so you take the, the two and a half step run up, you slide onto your foot. In your field of vision, you sort of see your hand and leg kind of like in a cool way, with a slight bit of motion blur. It's very dynamic. All of them are doing it nowadays. And uh, you crash directly into the back of his knees, spilling him backwards over you. It's humiliating, presumably, for him. It's quite painful for you because he lands directly on top of you and crushes all of the wind out of you. He goes, what the devil? Oh, sorry, I was trying to get to the bar before everyone else did. <laughs> Why are you talking about everyone's in there listening to that dunderhead? I wish I'd never met him. I wish he'd go away. <laughs> oh, man, it sounds like you really don't like this, this Viscount character. I don't. He yeah. was, well, I, I did. He was a, a good friend and a business partner to me. We've built our riches up, and now they're in a format I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, and now you just wish he would die, right? That's a bit strong. Is it? Certainly solve your problem, wouldn't it? Tell you what, mate. Slip me, uh, slip me some of those cryptic currencies, and I'll, I'll do the job for you. Well... I'll kill him for you. Well, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know if it'll let me spend it. <laughs> <laughs> but watch. He takes one out. And uh, it's a small sort of like blue metal coin, but it's clearly magical because as he places it in his palm, a little eyeball just kind of blinks open. And um, in, a, in a really irritating voice, actually, goes, I have a head, but never sleep. I have a mouth, but I don't um, eat. Uh, what am I? Uh, what? what? A river. What is, is it? Uh, is I, it? That sounds like it. Yeah. Are you a river? Um, no, oh, he okay. says. <laughs> ah, a based cryptic coin wins again. 
<laughs> You're not spending me today. You can try again in 15 minutes. Oh. OK, I'm not sure I want any of this cryptic currency, it sounds bad. Well, look, if I wanted to hire you as, a, as some sort of uh, assassin, and I'm not saying I did, I was just... I'm just trying to get rid of these things. Uh, I can't hire you. Oh. Yeah. Why is... is... No, I just, it sounded like you wanted him dead, but I guess you, well, I I guess don't. you don't. You seem hot on the idea. Are you going to kill him? No, it's just I only had three suspects and... <laughs> you mean Michael, Michael is in danger? Uh, well, yes, so I've heard. For, uh, so I've figured out, being the great detective that I am, I mean. Well, that would be terrible if he were to die. I mean. But I only had three suspects. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well just talk me through it. What have you got? Well, <laughs> I'm not sure if I should discuss the suspects with one of the suspects. <laughs> All right, well, so have it your way. Do you want to talk about, with, about it with a cryptic coin? No, I hate that coin. All right. right. Um, Hang on, I, I, Prudence, get over here. Hi, I walk over and dip my goblet in the wine pool. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, how's how's it, it going here? You heard about the cryptic currency, right? Yeah, well, it's, I don't think it's him. Why not? Because he said he doesn't want him dead. Well, that's what an assassin but would I, say. I know, but he seems... Believe, you know how Egbert's got zone of truth? Yeah. Sure would be useful if Egbert were engaging <laughs> in this adventure in any way. right now. <laughs> I continue to drink my juice box. <laughs> well, we're alone in the bar, right? Everyone else is in the um, dining room. Yes, you're alone in the bar. Well, let's rough him up. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I mean, I, I roughed his back of his knees up. He seemed pretty... How deep is the wine pool? <laughs> uh, I mean, you can absolutely... If you're looking to sort of, like, blub, blub, blub interrogate yeah, 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 him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. I mean, you can drown in an inch of wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a way to go. <laughs> You can get it like practically up to his ears. Okay. Like, it's a, yeah, it's a proper like. All right. I kick him in the back of the knee so he flips forward into the wine pool and then grab him by the back of the hair and hold him under for a few seconds. I say, oh no, and then I fill my <laughs> goblet from the wine pool. <laughs> Do you want me to roll for something? Yeah, uh... that would be a strength athletics check, please. Oh, Don't forget that your strength modifier is oh, that's enormous. True. <laughs> I am very strong. That's true. Okay. She is aware there. Don't worry about it. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> huh? Wait, no. I mean, yeah, it's, it's only seven. It's only seven, even with the even with the good stuff. <laughs> Just give him a punt in the shins. Does it hurt at least? Oh. Well, that's something. What? I'm trying to interrogate you, sir. I say. <laughs> as far as I was aware, I was cooperating. Yeah, I mean, he, he, but you don't. She doesn't believe you, though. Is the... I don't believe you, though. Okay. Please do. Turn out your pockets. Sounds Have you got any poison cool. on you? Hey, yeah, that's Have good. you seen the line of this? This is a fine doublet. It has no pockets. Yeah, yeah that's true. It's very believe... skin tight. I got this cigar out of a bandolier. Look. <laughs> <laughs> he is wearing a cigar bandolier. <laughs> that's, that's fancy, sir. I believe, I believe him. OK, fine, we believe him. Well, then we need a new suspect. Well, why don't you bring me in on this, if you believe me? That sounded more antagonistic than I hoped. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, someone is trying to kill the Viscount. I don't know if you saw the uh, goblet scenario back there. What? The goblet, when it hit the wall, that was it us. It dissolved the painting, it dissolved right? the painting. There's poison in the goblet. Well, that's ridiculous. Why? Why? Because only, only the, the, the personal sommelier to, to, to Viscount <gasps> Michael uh, Featherby has Suspect. access to his wine. You, sommelier? You spoke to I a sommelier? I spoke to the sommelier earlier. He told us yeah. he didn't ah, do no. it either. <laughs> You spoke That's to a sommelier. He has more than one sommelier. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm looking in the room, I'm just excited. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The man you're looking for is called Chase. Okay. Or as, uh, as the Viscount is very fond of saying, if it weren't poured by Chase, it don't go in the face. this face. <laughs> That's good. That's how I'll remember that. Yes. So you want to talk to him. Because, I mean, if you're roughing up anybody, it should be him. Why Fine. don't you dunk his head in this pool? He hates this vintage. I will. Great. What's he look like? Uh, sommelier. Um, I don't know. He's the help. Uh, Chase. Chase. Rude. Chase. Chase. Um, oh, he's sort of... Um, he's got an aquiline nose. Great. And, uh, a side passing. <laughs> Okay. And uh, a name tag that says Chase. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can't miss him. He'll be standing next to uh, the Viscount with, um, with a flagon of wine. With a flagon of wine? 
There's no time to lose, <laughs> I say. Prudence, we must hurry. Sprint into the dining area. Yeah, let's get back in there. I, I think What's I'll... sprinting at least? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to do my cool slide clock, again. Apologising profusely to the man that I've left in there. Going, just, just keep going. It's fine. You'll get it. Just follow my voice. <laughs> oh, wait. I project message ahead of us faster than I can run. Nice. Into everyone, everyone in our party that is remaining in the dining room. Yeah. And tell them to stop the head sommelier, whose name is Chase, who has an aquiline nose and a name tag that says Chase. And is probably standing next to the the pre-assassination victim. Nailed it. Okay, yes, you all get an urgent message from okay. Prudence. Has, has my guy finished his beast? Because I don't want to leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> he right now is kind of making polite conversation. The last sort Perfect. of three spoonfuls, you're not even sure he noticed. He's sort of going like, <laughs> yeah, now to sort of get, okay. get some of that bisky goodness. Bisque plays a lot of roles in this, this <laughs> universe. <laughs> I've never had it. <laughs> but anyway. One day. Oh, you must. Sponsorship. <laughs> Please never bring me Bisque to a meeting. <laughs> um, right, yes, yeah, you are, you are free from your duties at the moment. Although he could discover spoons at, at any time. S steal the spoons. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I will... Um, Oh God, I wish I wasn't this man's help. <laughs> <laughs> Hoisted by my own petard. I'm going to just sort of um, genuflect and gently walk backwards mm -hmm. and see if, if that seems to be sort of a, a, the wrong thing to do, in which case I'll stay there. But if he's not noting my absence, then I'm just going to sort of... No, he kind of gives a sort of right. imperious chuck of the hand right. to say, anon. Okay. I mean... I'll have a look round for Chase. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. Uh, just, just make me a bit of your wisdom perception, please. Yep. This is not going to be a difficult check. <laughs> Although, um, you seem trepidatious. Why? I'm not very good at it. That's a five. <laughs> <laughs> Any so modifiers? Uh, that's no, with that's, with, that's with my oh. modifiers. <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, you have... OK, you do not locate Chase. It's not that you locate the wrong person, necessarily, but okay. you're just... There is a profusion of sommeliers in the room. Okay, but at least I can identify the Viscount. Yes, so the Viscount you know where the Viscount is, yes. Uh, okay, okay. He's, he's sort of going, where's my... Looking around for his goblet, which okay. is a small puddle on the floor behind right, him. Right, okay. Can I minor illusion another goblet and see if, it gets, and see if he tries to fill it? Yes. So yeah, nice. you can. I'd like to, to yeah, minor, minor illusion, a goblet kind of next to him, and then based on who goes to fill it, I'll assume that's the sommelier. Fantastic. You can have inspiration for that. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, um, yes, uh, the Viscount kind of like, oh, 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 oh. and then with the frown of someone who's like, I doubt my senses now. It's like, <laughs> There it is! Chase! Um, and he sort of points at the goblet. It's gonna be like, fill her up, bad boy! Um, <laughs> he's getting into this whole wedding business. And you see, uh, you see a man, funnily enough, uh, with some sort of uh, name tag. You can't decipher it from this distance. <laughs> but uh, he definitely has an aquiline nose and a side parting. Steps forward and starts pouring wine uh, directly onto the table, really, mm. through the goblet, <laughs> um, which gives off a horrible gout of steam and uh, acrid smoke and starts to sort of bubble through the wood. You see Chase kind of go, uh, uh, and start to look at it. And then just sort of straightens up and takes a couple of steps backwards. Chase. I think it's corked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Prudence and I back in the room now? Yes. <laughs> All right, yeah. what, what I've, we, I've run in as well. The man is still in the corridor in the fog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think, I'm yeah. assuming. <laughs> yeah, he, well, let's see. See where he is. Yeah, he's, yes. He's, he's also trying to clean himself up still. Yeah. So, yeah, he's fine. Why am I explaining this role to you? It's behind my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Um, yes, uh, you are back in the room, as is... Um, as is uh, Featherby's business partner, who is currently stampeding down the middle of the, uh, the table. He's on the table? Yes, he's running down the Whoa. middle of the table. Wow. He's stamping That's on so cakes, cool. 
uh, accidentally a child's hand. Not Egbert's, it's fine. Um, he sort of kicks aside an entire wheel of cheese as he's just yelling, Michael! Michael! Clearly trying to save his life. Um, he goes to kick the goblet away, which is still sort of there in an illusory fashion. Oh. It is a tremendous kick. He puts so much <laughs> He's about to put his laces right through this sucker when he just whoop! Oh. Upends himself and does one of those really painful ones where, like, it's a slip where you don't get any back contact. Yeah. It's just all oh. back of the head. Oh. Yeah. Um, and sure, why not? He is unconscious. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, so uh, it's yes, the the party for the time being is is preoccupied with this new um, and very bizarre development. Uh, for what it's worth, the, the brides are still having a fabulous time. Oh, good. They seem it's to be really enjoying this. It's their day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's their day. No, nothing's, nothing's going to dent this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so should we, should we go loud or should I we try and do... I mean, we could try and get him out of here, you know, without alerting anyone. I think he's gone kind of loud. He's gone a bit loud himself. Can we really, maybe escort he? him out of here, you know, brusquely, under, yeah. under the cover but what if he, of all what if the he, chaos? What if he resists and runs for it? Well, then, then we'll we chase him into I the hedge so maze. so many damage spells, and I would love yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, this might be a good time for a wisdom perception check. Okay. Oh. Okay. It's never a good time for a wisdom perception check well. for me. That's a natural one. Oh, oh my god. Oh, also. Uh, minus one. Um, yeah, like, I got a 26. <laughs> Damn. So wise. A uh, 17. I'm very wise. Okay. Two plus two is four. <laughs> So it's cool. Oh, okay. Ten. Okay. Um, so, uh, Prudence, you don't notice much of anything. You're just kind of you're you're still so intense intent on this huddle. You're yeah. Like, okay. Here's the plan. Here's the play. Uh -huh. blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. You start almost like on a tablecloth with some gravy, drawing, drawing out yeah, a, plan, yeah, yeah. a map of the And the, the salt cellar. That's you. And then yeah. that's me. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> Egbert, you notice that uh, there is a child drinking a juice box that is definitely yours. Um, oh my! It is your favourite. This is called Paladin Punch. Oh, and, the purple uh, one. You specifically requested it, and you seem to remember that the sommelier said that it would be their last one. Oh. So, um, that well, I do what all children do at weddings and chase after the other child. Roll for initiative. Two laps. Yeah, perfect. Um, uh, Aubrey and Corazon, you, you look up from the huddle and you're like, ah, where is Chase? Um, luckily, luckily, um, you notice uh, Marowen with your absolutely ridiculous um, role that uh, Chase has just slipped. You see a sort of a bookcase just going snick close as he tries to pull some sort of secret door closed behind him. He appears to be trying to make some form of escape. Bookcase! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I cast slow on him? Ooh, yeah, why not? What uh, does it do? So it's, um... <laughs> I mean, I know, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> I can guess, but... Sorry, no, please do. Uh, yeah, I know I'm too. not familiar with this uh, You alter time around six creatures and your choice a 40-foot cube within 120 feet. Am I 120 feet from him? Uh, their speed is half, they have a minus two penalty to AC and dex, they can't use reactions, they can take an action or a bonus, but not both. Okay. DC 16 wisdom save. <laughs> All right, yes, I think it is, yeah, I think cubes ignore walls, that's fine. Um, so yeah, you're going to sort of cast yeah. slow on it. At his retreating form. Okay, uh, so yeah, Chase will be in this. You, uh, do you want to slow anyone else down for yucks? Um, yeah, just, just the nearest the, the, the nearest people, because I just think it would be fun. Great, cool. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> uh, deck six, right. Well, that's, yeah. Chase has whiffed it. And I'm just going to do oh, one. Oh, it's a whiz. It's a wisdom save, not a deck save. Oh, no, it's, um, it's a, he whiffed it. Oh, he whiffed it. Oh, oh, no, 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 you're fine. Um, he, he, um, he did not roll well, and neither did the one handy dandy roll for the other five. Great. Um, so... Uh, what does it look like when you cast this spell? Well, I've just realised a slight flaw in the plan is that it's also a concentration spell, so as I do that, I turn back into me. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, uh, I think I, uh, it's like, you know when, um, when you're, you're buffering? Yeah. Okay. I think he looks like he's buffering, so he's kind of like, move, he'll move in little spurts and then just sort of get stuck for a really long time and you'll see a 
uh, or at least I as the caster can see a tiny wheel. Mm. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, this is kind of, in your eyes, you can see a tiny wheel hidden just behind the bookcase, which, which lets you know that the spell is taking place. Okay. In the rest of the room, you can see five other tiny buffering wheels above their heads. <laughs> There's people like, Swice him. <laughs> um, All right, I'm going to sprint after Chase, then, with at my normal speed. The chase is on. Which is slower hey. than normal people. <laughs> uh, yes, that's fine. Are you, uh, you all of you going after Chase? Yeah. yeah. Egbert, do you fancy joining the adventure at this point? Or? Well, I get this juice box. <laughs> no, all right, cool. Uh, yeah. uh, so how are you going to reclaim what is rightfully yours from a child? <laughs> well, I've got plus four strength, so... <laughs> I'm going to wrestle it from his scrubby, thieving paws. All right. Oh, my God! That's a crit! <laughs> Probably going to use that dice roll for something useful, huh? You are. Please don't <laughs> kill a child at this wedding. <laughs> to be clear, you are. Are you using? You're not using your mace, are you? No, no. Just, I just want to take the juice oh, box you're just from take the, the child. Yeah. No, no, my breath weapon. That's fine. <laughs> um, okay. So you do sort of. You snatch the juice box from his hands um, and my. sort. You. You sort of just. You grab it with one hand and just sort of fling the child back <laughs> like an unwanted carrier bag. Um, the child flips perfectly upside down and just hammers into the wall. Um, and then, kind of like one of those sort of sticky action men that used to throw at walls as a child, just sort of like... <laughs> down the wall. Um, what don't worry, they bounce. What a tribute that could have been. In fact, why did I go with the water rat? That would have been so much better. <laughs> the child is... <laughs> dead. Oh. Not, not dead. Oh. <laughs> so good luck. Not conscious right now. Oh, no. <laughs> but you do have your favourite juice box. Yeah. Um, and what's more, uh, as you sort of clamp the straw in the corner of your mouth, Right where it deserved to be all along. You notice that your friends are running at something. I guess I'll follow. As I run past the kid, I might just zap him with a bit of cure wounds or something. <laughs> It'll be fine. You know. It's going to give him. It's going to give him a quick yeah, cure like, wounds yeah. around the noggin. All right. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Uh, that's fine. The child wakes up and goes. Yeah. Don't try it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Weddings are fun, and I'm fine, really. Um, good. Uh, yes, you are, as I say, the chase is on with a heavily reduced uh, sort of pace sommelier, um, who is presumably running in slow motion on the other side of this door. But mm -hmm. there is the small matter of uh, the secret bookcase door to get past. Okay, I look at all the book titles and see if any of them are puns about doors. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um, I go next to the door and I cast Stone Shape. That might do it. <laughs> <laughs> because Merylwen despises puns about doors or otherwise. No, it's, none of them could be better than mine. <laughs> um, they're, uh, basically, it's just a series of, of grape indexes, it's just an encyclopedia of different grapes. So none of them are called, like, door by IMA handle or something like no, that. No, that would have been good. <laughs> All right, I start pulling every book. OK, um, <laughs> sure. You're just making a hole on the, on, on the wall next to the... Yeah. What if it's a corridor, Meryl, yeah. when? What if you're just going into a wall? Well, then, just going diagonally. You are going to have to do a sort of a bit of a left turn. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Um, Corazon, you triumphantly pull all of the books <laughs> yeah. off uh, of the, um, the bookcase. You can't see the release mechanism. You can see Meryl when just out of the corner of your eye. You're not looking directly at her because you can tell from the periphery that she's intensely smug right now. She's doing better than I am. Yeah, <laughs> she is. Yeah. So, all right, I would like to... I really want to look around for the release mechanism for this door now. <laughs> <laughs> OK. It's got to be in here somewhere. Yes. Um, Yes, 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 it must. Um, and I'll tell you what it is. It is, um, it is a small statue of a cherub um, 
nearby looks quite suspicious. Why am I just telling you? I should make you roll for this. That's not what it is now. <laughs> make right. me an investigation roll. Okay, I fall fruitlessly on the cherub. <laughs> Corazon, is it okay if we go through the stone? The... You do what you want. We'll be able to through this secret door. All right, Egbert, let's go. Yeah, all right. Let's let's go. Go. Oh, what did you roll? Sixteen. Oh, sixteen. Okay, yes. Uh, you do notice what it is. It is um, another statue of a chair. It is not. No, okay. it is the head of a lion that is coming out of the wall, and you can right. see that a lot of its teeth are able to be depressed, and you must simply find the right tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, I say. I start pressing all the teeth. All of the teeth? Not the wagon. No, I study it. I study the teeth. And I figure it out cleverly. Hmm. Make me another investigation check, please. Oh, my God. That's a two. Uh, but... Wait, wait a second here. Got some modifiers. Yeah, not so smart now, are you, with my plus... It's a seven. Ouch! Um, you just... You, no, well, you, you're convinced you found the right tooth. Okay. I'm not going to say that you pressed it. Are you going to press it? Yes. It snapped shut on your wrist. Oh. Um, it, you just like, getting there. You can immediately feel a big angry purple bruise kind of coming up on your wrist. Okay. And it's quite humiliating. I cast grease and withdraw my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, let's see. It's going to cost you two points of degloving damage. Oh! oh no. The worst oh, kind. Oh, what, my God. what a homebrew. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of just a skin scrape type thing. Oh, um, okay, and then I looked to the door that Meryl went made and I went, yes, the door opened. <laughs> Inspiration. Inspiration. And I happily walk through with my degloved hand. Okie dokie. Um, so, uh, make me, everyone who is chasing Chase, mm-hmm. I was just looking for a rhyme with face. Uh, maybe a, an athletics check, please. Strength mm. athletics. Yeah. To, well, I wouldn't worry too much. Can I herd him towards the hedge maze? What? He's going up. <laughs> he's going okay. upstairs. He's sort of running through a secret corridor right uh, now. I thought maybe it would pop outside, you know, like a. But maybe it's, not. A se- a, a secret door to the... That, that's just a fire exit. <laughs> yes, but a secret fire exit for one of these... Why? <laughs> for, uh, never mind. I'll just, just do, save the ones you love. Fire! Only. How do we get out? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? I rolled a ten, so I'm not doing much of you. You're doing all right. Anyway. 18. 15. 16. Mm-hmm. I'm a ways behind everyone. You I are a ways behind. Assumed. Do me a roll anyway to try and catch up with him. Uh, 17 plus 1, 18. Nice. Okay, Chase uh, rolled a 7 and is already moving at half pace. <laughs> <laughs> so I think basically what we've got is um, three adventurers out in front, um, basically just breathing down his neck as he kind of does the like. <laughs> <laughs> the classic shoplifter's slow turn. Um, how are you going to take him down? <laughs> With a rugby tackle? Do we need to talk to this guy, or is it okay to just kind of eviscerate him? Wow! Ooh. No, I mean uh, asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love the evisceration, but he might have. He might not be the top. He might not he be might the only. Might be a Ponzi. Yeah. Ponzi. Yeah. 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 Yes. A so we need to. A Patsy. Yeah. 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 Ponzi is the money one. Yeah, it's a Ponzi. Which, speech. let's face we it, we should interrogate him. He's almost involved in. I'm just going to try and tackle The rugby tackle idea yeah. is fine. I'm going to run in and try and tackle him. Okay. Um, well, it's, uh, you're actually in back. So at the minute oh, it's... Merrill and rugby it's tackle him. It's Merrill okay. and Aubrey. I'll try. And I'll I want like, to shout, Prudence, rugby tackle him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going I'm to try and tackle him. I'll be like, Prudence, save me if I don't do this right. <laughs> All right, strength athletics, please. Okay. That's right, strike fear into his heart. <laughs> <laughs> Prudence, save me. 19. Hey. Yep. Ow. Um, Get him. Um, <laughs> you fold him in half, yeah. <laughs> which, given you're tackling him from behind, is actually quite wow. quite horrible to contemplate. <laughs> but it's fine. He sort of he bounces off the stone floor. Um, <laughs> he lands. All the wind has been driven out of him. He goes. I get my fifty foot of hemp and rope, and I tie him up. <laughs> 
fine. Yes. Uh, just make me a sleight of hand check, please, just to make sure your knots are true. Uh, that is only a 13. Okay, well, you do tie him up. It's not your best work, but he's, he's still winded and, like, hacking and spluttering, basically in your face, so no one can, be, can really blame you for being a little bit distracted. <laughs> what? What do you Why mean, are you what? poisoning him? What? I, no, who? I didn't poison anyone. Tried to poison the Viscount. We saw the poison. It's had smoke and made the varnish come off. And you're the sommelier and you were pouring it. So what do you say to that? Answer the question. I say, no, uh I noticed he didn't have a cup anymore. I was going to get him his favourite cup, which is his favourite. <laughs> oh, friend, you won't be telling such lies when my friend Egbert is done with you. Egbert, do the... Egbert is going to do a very do cool thing. spell that <laughs> he's not often done before. <laughs> Well, what? I turn out Chase's pockets first, just in case. Okie dokie. I steal his shoes. <laughs> oh, come on, those are my shoes. Yeah, they're my shoes now. I need those for my feet. Egbert. <laughs> <laughs> Egbert, whenever you're ready. <laughs> no, no, I don't think I want to do that. Yeah. I'm just going to threaten him the old-fashioned way, get the mace out and be like, tell us the truth, you. I've told you the truth. I'm just a sommelier. I'll... Um... That's, no, that's it. Yeah, I'm smelling it. <laughs> I bonk him on the little finger with the mace. Roll Just the D6. Series. A D6. Yep. Yeah. All right. Six. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> Only to the little finger. Egbert has a slightly cursed mace. <laughs> oh, if yeah. he hits anything oh, with yeah. it and then rolls a six, it turns into a random animal. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. The last time he did this, he turned a museum cura- curator into a seal. Yeah, he'd have thought having it in front of me would <laughs> remind me about my curse mace. On but... many adventures. Let's just see. Sources. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Mm, zone, zone of truth. Manual? Please, zone of truth. <laughs> Why not? Corazon says truth? weekly. <laughs> give us a letter. Uh, uh, let's go for P. P. P, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is upsetting. Oh, oh. God. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Okay, he turns yeah. into um, a malevolent stalactite called a piercer, which has one eye and a giant toothed mouth and uh, hangs from the ceiling, waiting to uh, drop onto unsuspecting foes on the ground below and impale them. But he's already oh. on the floor. Uh, yeah. No, he's not. <laughs> uh, it's a condition of his existence that he is on the ceiling. Right. Now talk, you rascal, I say. Or there'll be more where that came from. Um, regrettably, he has been stripped of any languages, although he has obtained blindsight. Uh, he just goes... <laughs> what, are you, are you? Well, I think we solved the mystery. Bruce, here we go. <laughs> How has this solved the mystery? He's a stalactite. He could have more. Well, uh, now Hogan we see. Characters, you, know? you know, now we see his true, true form, Bruce. probably. Let's go. In the pockets of yes. his sommelier uniform, you yes. have found a, uh, a coin purse. This is uh, pretty full. Okay. Uh, you also find uh, sort of just an empty folded wrap of paper. All right, well. It seems to have some sort of residue in it. Interesting. Mm. All right. Well, let's bah, examine bah, this. Bah, bah, bah. I, put a, I put a cork on the end of that so it can't hurt anyone. He's livid. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> furious. Good lord. All right, no one's, it, but he can drop on things, right? Yeah, we're so just we a little cork. Okay, all right, yeah, fine. It'll be fine. All right, this residue seems poisony. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, smells poisony. Mm-hmm. Probably is poisony. So you're saying right. don't smoke it? Don't smoke it. Mm-hmm. And. Got it. What's the coin purse full of? Is it those weird crypto cryptic coins? <laughs> it's not. Oh, That's okay. an Regular. excellent question. Regular which cash. Good. You can have inspiration. No, it's Thank full you. of silver pieces. All right, well, I keep those. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'd like to run a chemical analysis on this residue. <laughs> First, I presume I'll have to roll to see if I invent chemistry. Know, invent chemistry, <laughs> yes. Yes, please, uh, please just roll me a wisdom insight check to, to, invent, invent, chem- chemistry. to invent chemistry. All right. Okay, does a, does a three invent chemistry, or...? You have invented homeopathy. Yeah. 
<laughs> how many parts water is it? <laughs> yeah, how many parts water is it? Mostly. Mostly. Because it's got a very good molecular memory. Yeah. Um, Great. You have not invented a grand new science for this. Okay. But you can just have a look at the poison, well, the, whatever it is, and see if it is a poison. Okay, I will look at it, but I will look at it with my telescope, so I'm a bit closer. Okay. Um, this is a wisdom medicine check. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, can I use inspiration? Yes. <laughs> because I, I'm going to use a different dice for this one. That was the problem. You rolled a d12, Andy. You should really give yourself a oh. fair crack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's uh, uh, 10. Okay, you don't know what it is, but you do have a faint inkling that perhaps you shouldn't inhale it to see. Okay, are there any like rats or cats or dogs in this corridor? Here we I... go again. Okay. Not yet, there aren't. <laughs> are you two voices out loud? <laughs> uh, well, I just want to, you know, feed some to a living thing and see if it dies. Well, I mean, there's the, there's there is there's a monstrous stalactite on the ceiling. <laughs> it, has, uh, it has stopped moving and therefore is indistinguishable from a normal stalactite, but you know the truth, don't you, Corazon? Yeah, because you don't get stalactites in houses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I'll put some in the stalactite, <laughs> see what happens. Okay, yep, that's fine. Um, the stalactite, the piercer, uh, sort of starts panicking a little bit as you... Um, what does that look like? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> sort of like... Um, sort of like a wacky wa waving <laughs> inflatable thing, <laughs> but Without with the no... And just like <laughs> but upside down. OK, well, I think that answers my question. I won't, I won't kill him. I won't oh, OK. With the poison. I'll just play, oh, I see. I see how it is. Don't want to eat your own residue. <laughs> That seems like a perfectly acceptable position to hold. Yeah. <laughs> so I, he's got, he's been paid. There's clearly someone higher up the food chain here, which we could find out, Egg, but if he weren't a stalactite. <laughs> uh, I mean, too much time has probably elapsed for me to do this. Would you describe that as a spell that cursed him? No, it is a curse. Damn. <laughs> no. Not to worry. I could keep hitting him with the mace until he turns into something useful. <laughs> Just keep rolling. <laughs> Okay, Egbert, um, I reckon maybe ten, <laughs> ten rolls. Okay. Of a d6. One, so. that's a five. Two, that's a one. That was incredibly generous. That's a six. Hey! Hey! No one stopped speak with Stalactites. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't preload that one, Marilyn, then? No. No. Uh, letter, please. Uh, T. T. I hope there aren't any dangerous things that begin with T in yeah. your monster manual. Maybe we get like a tortoise. That would be great. Yeah. Tarrasque. <laughs> <laughs> no, a Tarrasque would have been a one. <laughs> as long as it's not a T-Rex, I think. It'll be Turned right. into a troglodyte. Oh. Is that, is that, is that good? bad? You're not not in danger. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. But, does, any, okay, does anyone here speak troglodyte? I cast Comprehend Languages. Okay, yes. yeah. And speak troglodyte. All right. Hello, me Corazon. I oh, want a bloody hell. I was on the ceiling and now I'm standing up. <laughs> <laughs> and blue, 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 blue to you too, I say. <laughs> all right, mate. <laughs> I say. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> what? Who is... <coughs> Sorry, it's my accent. Um, who is t t paying you to kill the Viscount? Spill the beans, or uh, else we'll turn you into something even worse than a troglodyte. Look, no, I, I, don't, I don't really want to tell you. For one thing, I feel incredibly unintelligent and not very wise now. <laughs> but secondly, I barely even remember who my, my, my uh, employer was. Barely, though. Barely. Seemed incredibly unremarkable. Just gave me some money. Tired off. Well, what did they look like? I'm remarkable, quite forgettable, human. So we know it's a human. What if it's Norman? <laughs> oh my, my God. God. What if it's Norman? Who's Norman? He's a very boring man, clipboard. I cast my eyes around the room to see if Norman is in the room. <laughs> We're in a corridor. In the corridor. Is Norman just... Is he following us around? Is Norman in the room? 
Yeah, yeah, he would be. He's an observer. Yeah, right. Norman's in the room. Is it, is it that guy over there? I say to the troglodyte. Uh, that's a human, yeah. <gasps> he has my home address. <laughs> <laughs> What? I mean, I assume you heard all of that. We don't need to re-explain <laughs> how you were It was in troglodyte, none of you oh, heard it. But well, you, you were yeah. translating, right? I do yeah. not speak troglodyte, and I am also uh, duty-bound not to pay too much attention okay. cool, cool. during Delayed any adventure. I finish my, my conversation, and I, um, I walk over to Norman, and I go, Oh, Norman, I'm having such a good adventure, and I grab him. OK, uh, strength athletics, please. OK, not, not this dice. Or indeed this dice. <laughs> um, Join my dice. That's fine. Uh, that's a f uh, four. Okay, he, he uh, is a slippery devil. Uh, he is um, basically you... Am I still covered in grease, is that why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. Damn you this did, grease. Um, but as you kind of... You know when you get like offered a handshake and someone just kind of does that? That but a whole person? So you kind of put him in a headlock and he just kind of... Wah. <laughs> like insinuates his way out of the grapple. Oh, I hate it. My favourite noise I think I've ever heard uh. on this show. <laughs> it's never the ones you expect, is it? Because, um, so if you'll be continuing with the adventure, um, please. I I'm just here to um, observe. Yeah, well, observe this. I say and give him a right cross. <laughs> give me another, maybe another <laughs> attack, please. Surely, surely this one. Surely this. I've time. never felt so confident that you're going to roll poorly. Hey, that's a 19. Bugger. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you're dealing with solid right cross. Roll me some damage on punch. Oh, what is damage on punch? Big punch. Big punch. Big, oh, big punch. Excuse yeah. me. Uh, what is, what is My three, th strike. Th yeah. Strength modifier. Strength mod. Yeah. Just, right. Yeah. D is it D4 plus strength mod? D6 plus strength mod. Is Thank it? you. It's two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? What's your strength mod? You, My strength mod is one. Oh. <laughs> oh. You absolutely <laughs> clock him one. Like, this is an incredible punch, the likes of which you've thrown in, in many a bar, mm -hmm. uh, up and down the land. And he just kind of, just like, it's like punching a blancmange. He just kind of goes with it. And goes, um, Will this be all? Technically, this isn't really part of the event. You're not supposed to um, interact with the moderator. Why? You, you're the evil villain. You're the villain, I, I shout at him. That's right. We figured it all out. Oh! You are the one who was trying to poison the Viscount before you get away with it, didn't you? Well, you didn't. Show you're working. How did I do it? With the poison. Because you bribed the sommelier Bribe. to put the poison in the wine. Very good. That's extra credit. Um, what? I give him another right cross. <laughs> yeah, hit him again. Kind um, of sociopath. <laughs> and, um, or, Aubrey, would you say that um, you've gained new insights into uh, how adventuring is, um, is done here? Well, yes. Are they positive insights into how adventuring is done in the land of Gath? Mixed bag, but Mixed maybe. Bag. <laughs> Mixed bag. It's quite a common response we get from this locality, actually. Um, yeah, great. What? No, it's fine. Um, uh, what? Do you have further I say, questions? I say, sure, you can shrug off punches, but what about my tiger kick? <laughs> I do a, a tiger kick. Uh -huh. I don't know what that is, but it's cool. Did you, have you already rolled it? Uh, what's... Okay. What do I roll for tiger kick? What do I roll kick? for a tiger, roll kick? tiger kick? Roll your tiger that's kick, That's another guys. one plus one, so that's a two. <laughs> he sort of push his nose up gently, and he goes, ah. Oh. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you might <laughs> villain <laughs> are you getting enough iron in your diet <laughs> clearly not okay well look, look I, suppose I can explain some of this procedure to you at, uh, uh, my role is not only to bring people together across realms and make sure that they, they uh, go on adventures together it is also my job to make sure that those adventures are fulfilling um, so sometimes that means uh, picking a particularly good dungeon um Sometimes that means um, poisoning a man at, uh, uh, the, on the day of his own daughter's wedding, um, uh, or um, 
rigging the uh, the bars on menagerie cages so that um, the animals escape and um, there's a horrible bloody stampede through the uh, the venue. Just that's a know, good job you didn't do that. People one, isn't tend it? to expect a bit of combat when they go on adventures like these. Um, what time is it, incidentally? <laughs> Have they done? Have they done coffee? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, if they've done coffee, the menagerie cages should be bursting open about now. Norman. Um, oh, okay. Uh oh. Okay. Well, I just, I, you know, you can't say you've not had intrigue, and now impending combat. I think if if you'd be so kind as to leave a review of my services as part of the foreign adventurers exchange uh, program, I'd be uh, heavily indebted to what, you actually. What? What would have happened if he drunk the poison? He would have died, and you wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't have scored very well then, let me tell you. Wow. Norman, you're weird. Well, look, if, you know, if there's no real danger in it, is it really an adventure? That's fair. That is fair. So... Can well, I'm I convinced. Can I cast Banishment on Norman? <laughs> yeah? Great. I'll burn my only fourth-level spell slot to do that. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> Oh, you're a natural. You fit in so well. <laughs> you sending him anywhere in particular? Uh, I'd like to send him um, somewhere where a load of menagerie cages have recently had their bars um, yes. pulled apart. Perfect. The, the Ironic of, punishment. Of menagerie the dimension cages. of... <laughs> yeah. yeah, that one. <laughs> of, of critically <laughs> failed menagerie. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, if he survives the next minute, then he'll come back. Or maybe he'll just come back as a corpse. Who knows? <laughs> I will do some background rolling on that one. Uh, but in the meantime, you do start to hear um, slightly raised voices. We've got to get um, these animals. They don't seem to be panicking just yet. Uh, yeah, I think we should run back into the wedding venue. Yeah, yeah probably. So let's, let's hoof it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. How's it going? That's not a good face. I will save it for a dramatically appropriate moment <laughs> later. Oh, okay. oh, I'm sure Norman's Quick, fine. everyone, back into the we wedding. We burst back into the wedding reception yeah. and I scream, Don't panic, everyone, but animals are going to kill us all! <laughs> um, you burst in from one end of the room and they all sort of look up from their coffees and go, Huh? And then from the other end of the room, uh, the doors get kicked in by uh, three cockatrices, a trice of them, <laughs> um, and they all kick open the doors and give uh, a really horrible, monstrous shriek, actually. Uh, and the dinner guests start politely applauding, assuming this is some kind of immersive theatre. Um, <laughs> and we'll roll for initiative, shall we? Yeah. Golf clap for numbers. <laughs> yes, please. So, 19 plus 1 for 20. Don't make me do the maths. <laughs> 10. 12. 17. 25. Holy cow! Whoa. All righty. Corazon, uh, you are up first. There are three cockatrices disease. I don't want to be up first. Hmm? I don't want to be up first. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is a cockatrice? You may hold your action if you prefer. No, I should probably, oh, I should probably kill all these something. cockatrices, shouldn't I? Um, all right, I kill all the cockatrices. <laughs> <laughs> Easily. What? <Well. laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Uh, descri describe a cockatrice. It is. Um, it is uh, basically. It looks like a hideous hybrid of a lizard, bird, and bat. Um, so it is. It's. It's not massive. They're sort of. Um, have you heard uh, the ballad of the park that was Jurassic? Mm. Yes. Um, yeah. You. You can't tell the gender of these uh, creatures, but you expect that if they are female, they're very clever girls. Right. That's sort of the size we're talking. <laughs> right, okay, okay. I guess I will go and hit one with swords and see what happens. <laughs> All right, hit it with swords and see what happens. My favorite kind of combat. All right. Um, yeah, go for it. Uh, I rolled a 13. That beats the armor class of 11. Okay, wow. well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna hit it with the sneak attack yep. due to my rakish audacity. Yep, 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 yep. Scenario going on here, so that's gonna be 46 plus 1d8. I know what all of those things are. Yes, there we go. Thank you. Okay, so that's a 6, 7, 12, 18. And five, so 23. Bloody hell. Um, well, it's nearly dead. 
It's down to <laughs> it's down to four hit points. Oh, nice! I use my bonus action to hide under the table. Okay. <laughs> what, uh, what do you do to this cockatrice? Because it is it's very, very nearly dead. It's really in a bad way. What ha- what do you do? Um, so I pull out two cutlasses and sort of like a, a scissor motion. Either way, I just slice its legs off. Its ankles. I slice its, its legs. Its legs. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah. And I go, ha-ha, and then hide under the table. It lands, <laughs> it lands on the table with a wet smack and sort of starts reeling around like a weeble. Um, Egbert. Hello. Hello. What do? Um, I've always wanted to ride a cockatrice around. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. Oh, I'd, like, I'd, like to, <laughs> I'd like to maybe jump on its back and, and give it a mild throttling, but also <laughs> ride it around a bit at the same time. Okay. Right, so, yeah, I, I think I read between the lines on that one. Uh, that'll be a strength <laughs> athletics check, please. Yeah. Okay. That is a two plus four for a six. Yeah. So, is it not um, going to work? Am I not going to fulfill my dream? You do an incredible leap towards its neck, and it just kind of <laughs> oh, rears back a tiny bit, no. and you just belly flop onto the middle of the <laughs> dining table <laughs> into an enormous trifle. Dylan. And the the children who are bit. unaccountably still there are very upset. I don't think anyone in the, anyone has noticed yet that um, that this isn't just a fun bit of live theatre. Right. You hear people in the back being like, "Amazing effects, really." <laughs> uh, the brides are still having a great time, by the way. Pete okay. Bellini's, yeah. you that's, know. That's the main thing, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. We've, yeah, you've got to. You've got to make sure that the brides are having a good time. Prudence. All right, straight out the gate. Agonising blast. One on one cockatrice. One on the other cockatrice, the one that's nearly dead. Uh huh. One with four hit points left. Yep. Because I like an easy target. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, maybe two rain spell attacks, please. All right, okay. Ten and. Uh, 17. Okay, uh, it was the first with modifiers. Yes. Okay, so only one of them connects. Right. Um, roll me that damage. D10. Uh, I threw my D10 under the table earlier. Can I have a D10? <laughs> Classic, Jane. Somewhere. No, that's a 12. Where's your D10? Don't tell I me you have a D10. Give me one of these. <laughs> there we go. Give me one of them. All oh, right. Oh, that's a, that's a seven. No, that's a seven. seven yeah. yeah, that's and a And this seven. being agonising your charisma... Oh, plus mark. my charisma. Uh, so 12. 12? 12. Okay. 12. Uh, on the nearly dead one. On, on the, the nearly, nearly dead, dead one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not for the first time today. Um, a giant bird creature explodes <laughs> in the room. Um, do, uh, what does it look like? What are, what are well, you? It under- smells doing? like the roasted swan, but mm. more sulfurous. Horrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. dreadful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and it kind of like confetti's down over that end of the table. You know, it's sort of nice. And it's like sort of crispy skin, just like confetti's Ooh. down over Hungry. over everybody. Horrible. I look yeah. at Prudence and do this. Really good, really good. <laughs> well, now it's time for Prudence to watch you, Aubrey, because you are up. Okay. It might be disproportionately aggressive, but can I, can I hit the remaining one with a fireball without hitting anyone else? That's 20-foot range. I don't know. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> it would be a hell of a thing to find out. Uh, can I use a sorcery point to make it a quick and a careful spell and let up to five creatures succeed their deck save? Yes. Great. Can I do that and use another two sorcery points to make it a quicken spell. Yeah. So I'll, that's a DC 16 uh, deck save as a bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing playing with someone who knows the rules, isn't it? <laughs> it's weird. Can deck I use some sorcery points? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I want to use sorcery points. <laughs> Tis a one. Okay. <laughs> so um, this is 8d6. This is Jeez. Five, seven, wow. uh, 11, oh, uh, thir- 14. Uh, 14. Oh my God, he's adding. Uh, 19, 19 21. 21. How many have I done? 26. Is that it? Is that, that the last one? I've got one more. 26. Okay, so that's 31 uh, fire damage. Hell? And then as my action, can I firebolt it? Oh, I also add plus five to that because I have <laughs> elemental ability. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. So that's the stop. Stop. <laughs> He's already dead. So um, one. One of the cockatrice. So there were two left. Yep. One of them is just 
so gone. It's, it's <laughs> unbelievable. I'll get you to describe this momentarily, but uh, if you want to use your action, you can target the other one. Can I firebolt the other one yeah. with my action? So He's the same level as us. Have we made suboptimal characters? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So that's a 27 to hit. Uh, <laughs> and that is... Um, that is at uh, 23 points of fire damage. Okay, oh. so we've got another meat weeble. <laughs> it's, it's, it's again on, a, on, a, on four hit points. Uh, but what, what does this look like? Because I'm assuming it's very impressive. <laughs> yeah, I'd like, to, um, I'd like to take like a long kind of anime, I've just dropped out the sky kind of one leg out pose, and then just whip my tail around and fire them both at my tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, the first cockatrice kind of, um, kind of just, oh, just like, pfft, just turns into a weird sort of paltry blood mist, um, <laughs> and the other one just pfft, lands again with another wet smack, um, and uh, Meryl went clean up, will you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I was gonna cast animal friendship, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Cast it on the tabaxi. We don't want to get on the wrong side of that guy. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, instead, I'm going to uh, produce flame and try and finish off the final one. That's Please there. do. Yeah. I can oh, summon a dog if I want. Uh, to. Are you doing this low and slow, or are you <laughs> kind of? Uh, well, I'm just. I'm just really wait, so it's the a flavor. cantrip, so <laughs> yep. I just. Between flame, you can, you get. Yes, you are basically doing this low and slow. Yeah. <laughs> it's Under arm. So yeah, it basically it just sort of looks up with a resignation. It almost looks grateful. It's just like. <laughs> it's a small I'm sorry, buddy. Flickering ball of, of fire just goes, boom, and it just. <laughs> Hits the deck, and uh, the 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 audience, uh, the, the the wedding guests are like, "Oh, bravo! Oh, well yeah. done! Oh, well yeah. done! Oh, well yeah. done!" Um, the brides the brides are weeping. They've <laughs> held it together pretty well so far, but no, no, no. That is, they are absolutely done in. Um, and then uh, to just to cap things off, a small portal appears above the middle of the dining table. And a corpse with a clipboard just goes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Wow. Very good. How are we supposed to get Dob back now? Oh, no, Dob! <laughs> just wait at the bus stop, I guess. There'll probably be something on here on this clipboard. I take the clipboard. Are you doing much, sort of, for the rest of the year? Because <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm done. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yes. That's, uh, yeah, so I go around with a cup saying, I hope you enjoyed the entertainment. Uh, tips are graciously appreciated mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to the wedding guests. 33 gold pieces. Okay, 33 gold pieces, excellent. And uh, yeah, we leave the wedding to continue this marvelous cultural exchange. I hope you've learned a lot. <laughs> so much. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> well, thank Mixed you so much to everyone for coming to this MCM Accenture. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Can we get a uh, selfie?